I, I don't know about you, but I don't have a lot of love for a lot of people. And you say, well, how can you say that as a pastor? Because I have genuine love for people like my children and your children. I love children, okay? And because I love our children, I hate the people that want to defile those children. The predator that wants to go after them, I hate those people. You can't say, I can't say, well, I love, come here, brother, give me a hug, as they're going after an innocent child and trying to defile them. That child's going to look at me going, why are you hugging the guy that defiled me? Oh, yeah, give me a hug as you give him a hug? It's meaningless. It's meaningless. It means nothing. It's actually worse than nothing to them. I could swear up and down, oh, yeah, I love you. But you're not doing anything for them. You're not doing anything to protect them. You're just saying these words. It means nothing. It means nothing. And, I, you know, I could go on and on about that subject. But here's the thing. The, the bottom line is whatever you love, you need to hate the opposite things, the things that are against that. To have the right balance, for love to mean something, you have to, you have to hate the things that are against whatever it is that you love. I love my wife, I hate adultery. I mean, I can't love adultery and love my wife at the same time. It's a contradiction. Psalm 101, where we started off, and I just touched on this recently, but we're going to go over this again. We see here David saying very similar things. Look at verse number one. The Bible says, I will sing of mercy and judgment. Unto thee, O Lord, will I sing. I will behave myself wisely in a, wisely in a perfect way. Oh, when wilt thou come unto me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. Romans 12, 9 says, Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. So in order to cleave or stick fast, hold tight to the things that are good, we have to hate things that are evil, hate things that are destructive, hate the things that are bad, right? In order to love the good. Here he's saying, I need to um, hate the work of them that turn aside, these wicked people. I need to hate what they do because I don't want what they do sticking to me. I don't want, I don't want evil things cleaving to me. I want to cleave to good things. Verse 4, a froward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. So I don't have anything to do with these wicked people. I'm not going to have them in my house. Whoso privily slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that hath an high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. Why? Because he doesn't want that rubbing off on him. He wants to be able to separate the two. He says, mine eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. Now, you say, well, Pastor Burzens, I thought we're supposed to not have this attitude and look down on people and be better. Correct. Correct. What is he saying here in Psalm 101? He's talking about walking within his house. He's not going to invite all the wicked things in his house. You know what he will do and he should do? Go forth into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So he's going to show love to the people who, you know, that they may be involved in some wicked sins. They may be proud. They may have these other problems. They may be slandering people, right? And he's going to go forward to them in love and try to show them the way of truth. But you know what he's not going to do? He's not just going to be like, well, come home with me. You're my best friend now. And just hang out and spend all of his time with these people who are wicked people. Why? Because that's going to rub off on him. You go out, you love them, you care for them, you try to help them, but you don't just bring that into your house. Because that's what he's talking about. I will walk within my house with a perfect heart, is verse number two. And he said, I'm not going to set a wicked thing before my eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. We need to have a proper hatred of evil things and wicked things in order to love the good things. And if you get real soft on everything and all the wickedness, 
then you don't really love virtue and good things either. 